All right guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs. Just heading into Daily Man Park now. Uh, early enough, it's 20 to seven. Uh, Bohemians take on Dundalk tonight. Three games to go in the league. It's a big, big game for Bohemians. Um, a win for Bohemians here. will probably cement their top three, top four place, cement their place in Europe. We'll put them seven points above St. Pat's. Uh, Pat's will have a game in hand, but with games run now, it's hard to see St. Pat's actually catching them. Um, Leahy obviously won't be there for Bowles, Danny Corcoran as well. Um, but from Dundalk's point of view, uh, they're missing Huben for suspension. A couple of other players, Mountney's injured, uh, Patrick McElhenney is injured. And they had a bit of a flu epidemic, I think, during the week and some players in train. So I doubt if some of the players be risked, you know, that are injured for that. So um, it's going to be an interesting one to play three times a season already. Uh, Dundalk winning those three games and winning at Dalyman Park as well, 2-0. So, you know, I'm expecting a good game today and hopefully the Bulls fans will be good, good voice. Um, we'll get into Daily Mount Park now and we'll give you a quick little tour. All right, guys, this is basically the lane where you walk down if you want to get to the Jolly Sand. Uh, some great art, artwork there, it has to be said. Fantastic. Emil Football Club. This is cool here, I like this. Um, if Andy is watching, did you do this Andy? You'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool there, found in 1890. They're actually the oldest uh, club in Dublin actually. Turnstiles. Alright lads, just in, after getting into the turnstiles here, this is a picture of uh, Glenn Crow, uh, fantastic forward he was. Bohemian Football Club, just coming down to the bar now, which I won't be getting a point for because I'm uh, driving. A quick look in here. That's just about to head into the Bohemians Club shop here. We'll go and have a look. Sorry, you're grand. Sorry, you're right. Home and away jerseys, Bohemians. Kids scare, mugs. Hats are pretty cool. Are you buying one? <laughs> right, guys, inside Daily Man Park now. This is a little painted mural slash mural of Bob Marley who played here in 1980. Uh, obviously a reggae legend. Um, on the other side then you have Tim Lizzy. That's Phil Linnett. Uh, Tim Lizzy played here in 1977. Um, Phil Linnett will be a big favourite of mine actually. The pitch here is in excellent condition, as usual. Uh, I have to say, the standard of the quality of the pitches in the League of Ireland generally, the grounds I've been, I've been in have been brilliant, basically. So, no surprise that's excellent here. So, uh, here come the Bohemians players. The fans get behind them.
So it's just a quick talk about some of the kids schemes here. Um, you can pay 25 euro membership uh, kids pay where they get uh, all kinds of goodies. They get beanie hats, they get pencil cases, uh, autograph books and things like that. Very good. Uh, 25 quid is nothing. So it's a great deal there. Um, place is starting to fill up now as well, like so I'll be going to my seat soon. But um, you know, Daily Mint Park's obviously an old ground. It's just looking around it there though, it's got a lot of character on it in it. It's uh, 3,600 at the moment's capacity. Uh, they're gonna redevelop it, it's gonna be 6,000 all seater. Not sure when exactly though, that's uh, still up for debate I think. But uh, have a quick look around, you walk in and um, obviously apart from the Jody San has has an old look. Uh, just come over here a bit. This is the away section over here. It's pretty much where the away fans go. Just in behind the Jody stand. I'll be going over there in a second. But um, look, it's an all grand spiritual home of Irish football. Ireland, Republic of Ireland used to play here. Played a lot of the internationals here. Half time here, Bohemians won Dundalk nil at half time. Uh, Jace uh, Wade Slater with the goal after about 25 minutes or so. Uh, came from a counter attack, it took his keyboard, so it just rolled to the middle of the park. 
and uh, released weights later on the right and Rogers came out and he just placed it into the far corner. Overall, very windy here, but uh, Bowles did well in the counter attack. A lot of possession from Dundalk as you expect. Uh, Dundalk also missing Duffy, Gannon, and Shields tonight. I think two of them might be on the bench. Uh, of course, Bowles are missing Mandarin as well. But uh, So, a bit of talent missing on the pitch there. Uh, Dundalk lacking the trust. They're, they're very relaxed on the ball, probably too relaxed. Uh, Bowles a few times goes to the counter. Keep more than a chance right in half time to make it 2 0. But he just hit it over. Uh, overall, Bowles will be delighted with this. Um, if it stays like this, obviously they'll be playing packs next week. We'll put them in a great position. So, Bohemians won, Dundalk nil half time. Bowles fans are full voice and for the second half here. Half time chicken and mushroom pie, guys. This is lovely. I'm starving and I'm going to join this one. Oh, you recommend it.
Like I finished here at Dalyman Park, so Bohemians have beaten Dundalk 2-0. Um, Slater with the goal in the first half and the second half. Got the goal in the second half. Andre Wright, wasn't it? Andre Wright, yeah. <laughs> Super goal from Wright in the second half. It was a very good goal, yeah. <laughs> got a bit of help there. No, it was a fantastic strike from Wright. He held the ball up brilliantly and struck it into the corner. Bowls came out in the second half with a lot of intensity. Dundalk were very, very slow throughout. They like a team that did nothing to play for. Um, in fairness, they did bring on Duffy and um, Gannon on the second half. Didn't make a huge difference. Bowles uh, looked like scoring a few more. The chance, Tierney had a chance to make a three. Actually, it's one on one with Rogers just clipped it wide. Uh, Sean Murray had a chance for Dundalk laid on, but just went wide to the far post and uh, Danny Grant actually had a shot as well that um, for Bohemians that just went over past Gary Rogers post as well from about 20 yards uh, Dundalk got a goal right at the end there I think it's, it's finished 2-0 it actually finished 2-1 because it literally was the last kick of the game and uh, I'm not sure who got it it was actually hard to see if it was even in but uh, it obviously did go in so finished Bohemians 2 Dundalk 1 and Daly Man Park here uh, Dun- Bohemians look very good now for a place in Europe. Uh, they do go to pass next week, but even a defeat there, I think they're in a very good position. Um, Dundalk, as I say, played like they were wrapped in cotton wool a little bit today, but Bulls don't care about that. It was a good atmosphere at Daily Mount. Bulls fans really got behind their side. You know, it was a very enjoyable experience. Um, so Bulls 2, Dundalk 1, as I said. Uh, Slater with the goal in the first half, Wright with their goal in the second half, he grew in confidence after that goal as well actually, uh, and did that pull one back right at the end, it's hard to see who actually got it. But um, that's a piece of subscribe, like um, the vlog, and uh, I'll catch us next time. Alright, see you later, good luck.